Hey everyone, it is Nick with RetroPixel Digital, and today I'm going to show you something really cool. Um, I'm working on this project here. Um, this is uh, this is a little project I put together today. I uh, worked a few hours on it, and um, so this is just a um, it's a it's a an asset I purchased from uh, Cinti. Um, it's uh, it's called what was it called here? Let's pull it up. There you go. This is uh, Cinti Store. So. I uh, went over here and I looked at, um, I bought um, a city pack. It's called city pack. There's a lot of really cool stuff here. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this, but all asset packs show you a bunch of cool little low poly stuff. So there's a polygon series and there's a low, what is it called? Simple or something like that. Um, but there is a ton of asset stuff. Here's the city pack. Is that real mini? No, this is the mini one. Anyway, um, I got the polygon. Can I just see this? Polygon. Here we go. So we got polygon. Um, so I went in there and I, I just I, I purchased this uh, a while back. Actually, I haven't really done much with it, but you can see they got nightclubs, they got dog packs, they got all sorts of craziness. And some of these packs are pretty, pretty expensive, um, and rightfully so because there's a street racer one, two eighty five, and now it's on fifty percent for the Black Friday. But um, Look at this stuff like there's some really crazy huge assets like just insane scenes with tons of cars all sorts of like interiors everything it is so worth it um really neat stuff um it can get expensive but there is i just found about this all access pass thing you can go in here and you can subscribe um what is it 42 dollars a month you know 12 12 months so that's like 500 dollars canadian that's like how much one of them is it's really neat anyway so I have been using it to do stuff like this. This is just kind of like, this is a sample project. This is this is really a, a sandbox for me to play around and just kind of play with different plugins and also have fun doing it. Like, I, you know, this is my test project that I just created today. I am using the game animation sample project um, version 5.5. .5, so the newest one that just dropped like a week or so ago. Um, it's looking really good. It's got replication, which is nice because I want to build replicated stuff all the time and I'm, I'm actually using this client so I've been doing a lot of additional replication so this is the game an animation sample project but it's also mixed with ALS a uh, replicated version of that so it's really cool I don't know if anyone has seen, heard of animations uh, advanced locomotion system ALS for it's just been around forever it's awesome awesome free it's on github now anyway so I use that and I also um, took some of these assets from uh, the another Cinti pack. This isn't a part of this um, this one. It's part of the heist pack that I also purchased. Um, and I used Maya to kind of take it apart and um, remove the wheels. And then I used the R-Tune, which is another um, pack here. It's a, it's a plugin that I'm using. So other than using the game animation sample pack uh, project and the R-Tune, um, I'm actually building a lot of this stuff from, from you know, and ALS, I'm, I'm building all the all the mechanics myself. So um, I just want to get a clean, simple project uh, put together that does exactly what I want. And I don't want to use a template for all that. So plugins are OK for me, you know. Um, anyway, so I've, I've built all this up. I've, I've put this together um, right now. I'll play in single player. Oh, this is actually this is replicated. Um, fully replicated so everything works and it will work on a dedicated server and that is what I'm doing in the background right now um, while I'm recording this video I'm actually um, doing a custom build um, or a, a custom build of the Unreal Engine 5.5 uh, from source so I can build a dedicated server for this so it's really cool I can get into a vehicle um, so some replication issues with the wheels turning but not turning they are in single player so I'll work that out it's super simple um, but uh, I use the R-Tune project um, to get these kind of arcadey vehicles because I like, well, too arcadey maybe. But anyway, I <laughs> get out and I can push that. Physics are still a work in progress. So as you can see, I shouldn't be able to throw a car like that, but I am able to. Um, but anyway, I, I kind of just, you know, I love Grand Theft Auto. So I, I modified, I added some, um, some code there to move the camera around a little bit so independently so our team doesn't do that by default so that is a thing uh, anyway so I can just drive this over here to the one side of the map 
I'm going to get out, make sure it doesn't fly away, and then I'm going to control Q. It's my debug for flying across the back of the map and getting into this one. Ah, no, 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 no. Well, I just ruined everything. <laughs> anyway, uh, so I did add uh, overlay switches. So you use the scroll wheel to just go up and down. I've got two different weapons. You've got a handgun, which I'm going to be adding this yellow thing. Um, I need to work on the IK system for the hands as well. As you can see, they don't quite line up, but that's simple. Um, but when you switch, uh, like if I hit, actually it's not working. Oh no, I didn't notice that. Um, so when you switch back and forth to the handgun, the this should be showing up on the back when I switch. And I'm gonna be adding the handgun to the right uh, in Halo. Uh, it's actually got, he's actually got a um, holster there. So I'll put it in there. Um, so it's just a little minim minimal stuff, but uh, what's really cool is I can run, I can jump, I can crouch, I can shoot, and I can shoot. Um, there's a line trace and everything going on, but as you can see, there are no effects. Uh, there are no hit effects. There are no tracers or anything like that. That's all coming, don't worry. Um, uh, there will be, I'm going to add a roll to it too. I think that would be really cool. I've already done that before a million times, especially when you fall and you roll. Um, health and death, uh, you can you can actually hurt yourself. Yes, yeah, so you can accidentally shoot yourself and die. But there's, as you can see, I can move my character around. That's, uh, I need to disable input when I die. But after 15 seconds, it should automatically uh, respawn me in one of a random spot where they're all, all the random spots are next to each other. Um, but as you can see, it is it's working pretty well. I'm just going to quit here real quick, and then I'm going to switch over to two players. So I'll show you some of the replication. Um, and it's all on client. So this just is the hardest part to get is getting everything to play nicely when you are uh, using a client. So dedicated servers are a lot trickier of a beast because you have to replicate everything properly. But also, you don't want to replicate too much because then you're going to suck up all your bandwidth just replicating shit that you don't need to replicate. Um, anyway, so here we are. Uh, this looks really weird from this angle, but it's cool. So you can see the replication is really neat. Um, really neat. Like, look at his hand, his head and everything like that. It's going to be really neat to do that. You can see overlay, switching, you know, you can see that. If I hit X, you can see it. There's a weapon on him. Um, I got to add a uh, crosshair. But you can see the... The replication on physics is never fun. See if you can see on one side he's sitting there, on the other side he is completely gone. I'm not too worried this way because we, we just like I'm not worried about dead bodies. Um, but uh, we'll see how that goes. But anyway, I can get into the car, drive up to here. Um, the the vehicles though, the replication on the vehicles is quite nice. So. Uh, as you can see, I can run up to here. As it's already started to move, but you can see it is exactly in the same spot for both of us. Um, if I try to get into the car, I can walk. Actually, I'm going to switch to walk. I'm going to walk real quick. Um, if I try to get in, it says player already in car. It says you're in the car, but it's saying that to the other guy. Um, but anyway, so um, yeah, so I can't get in until he gets out, but I can get into this one. And so what I'll do, and don't. <laughs> uh, but I'll be adding lights and brake lights and uh, everything to this thing. Um, so there we go. And sound. The vehicles, we'll get to use sound. Anyway, I'm going to drive over here. I'm driving here really far because I want to um, show you guys that replication distance and calling distance is pretty good. Um, you don't want it again. You don't want to have that uh, that number too high. So uh, we'll be we're, I'll be using like world partition and adding a whole bunch of stuff there too, just to to make performance a little bit better. Um, I mean the textures and stuff they're they're pretty nice um, because they're they're low poly. We don't have to worry about like some of the other games like you know Green Hawk Platoon and some of the other games I'm working on. They just uh, it's bananas. You can't really get away with textures like this uh, so it's pretty cool um, got a lot to work with the FPS is running really well Let's see. Start up here. yeah I'm getting 60 frames per second um, 
I'm recording and I'm copying, I'm building uh, engine. I've got a couple different applications open. Um, so, I mean, getting 60 frames per second running to, um, you know, high quality ones would be pretty good. Also, I think I might be capped at 60 frames per second for some reason. I've got some features <laughs> in my, um, my driver software. But either way, you can see how it's, uh, it's actually pretty good. Um, there you go. Sorry, buddy. You have no car now. Um, that's okay. Because you're dead. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> so yeah, it's it's really coming along very well. Um, so I was thinking, and um, let me know in the comments if this sounds like something that you guys would all be down for. Uh, I was thinking of actually going over a lot of the process while I work on this. I'm just working on this on, on weekends while I'm not doing my day job. But if, uh, if I have time for this kind of stuff, um, I will, uh, I'll definitely, uh, work on this. And if it, if it, if it's a consensus that people just really want to see or hear more about how, how I do this and the process, I will record that and I can even stream it on Twitch so I can have real time people ask me questions and stuff like that. But I was thinking of just kind of going over the process, how I do everything, getting down into the code. I can't do that with my other projects, but this one here is just kind of one of those projects. So I can go in, I could talk about replication, I could talk about how I go through everything. Um, I could really just kind of explain the process and if everybody, if anyone is just interested in learning a little bit more about how I develop games and how, you know, um, how to get replication and tips and tricks on what to replicate, what not to replicate, don't make everything, you know, you know, and don't put everything replicated, otherwise you're gonna run out of, you know, have some major performance issues, um, world partition, any of that stuff. If anybody's interested in that stuff, I, I'm i thinking about just doing a little bit of series or just uh, doing a couple different videos on the development process of how I'm doing that. And uh, yeah, if anyone's interested in that, I would really, I'd be cool with, with recording that as I go, because um, I'm going to create this anyway. And what might, I'm, I'm gonna be developing um, and building a, um, a dedicated server and I'm gonna put that up online and hey who knows maybe I'll have a dedicated server running all the time so people that are watching the videos and learning about it can play the game and uh, just kind of see firsthand what I'm creating um, so we'll see how that goes that might actually be something maybe uh, maybe we'll just uh, you know boot up a dedicated server that people can run on any time um, and see how it is um, anyway so that's that's that uh, let me know what uh, y'all think about that idea because it might be something I'll go for. Um, if everyone's interested, why not? Anyway, uh, I was going to end the video here so we don't have to keep going for the rest of the weekend. Uh, so I could develop some stuff. I'm going to take a break. And then when I come back, I'm going to go into build the 5.5 from source. Um, I might even, if, if people want to know about you know creating dedicated servers and how I did that, I can go back and I can do that again. I've done it a bunch of times, so I can even talk about that. So um, again, comments are a great way to communicate with me, uh, ask questions, um, let me know what you think and what you want, and uh, we'll go from there. Anyway, have a great weekend and stay classy, San Diego.